Hi, welcome back to Comic Book Gallery. I'm your host, Joaquin. Okay, I'm back up in Seattle. I'm now staying with my brother because I am semi-homeless right now. Um, for those of you who know me, there's only a few of you of my friends who watch my channel. Thanks, partners. Um, I had recently lost my father um, in March of last year, so we're coming out of like a one-year anniversary. So I was his caretaker for the past almost eight years, and he required 24-hour care, and he was paralyzed from the left hand, left side down. He was partially paralyzed. He was starting to begin to walk, but he never did make it. So he required 24-hour care, so I had to help him. Uh, get up and move from place to place. Um, I I cooked dinner for him. I made breakfast. I made lunch. Um, while he could do a lot of things for himself, you know, he couldn't travel anywhere. It, you know, I just had to be there. Plus, I wanted to be there for my father. So, because of that, for the past eight years, it was like a really big drain. Uh, not only on, on my resources, which it pretty much wiped out. Uh, also, my families and his friends really came through because when you're only living, being able to live off of Social Security, and that's what we were living off is Social Security plus whatever little savings what was left, that all got chewed up. And even though I'm not, I didn't mean to really go into this part of my background, I want you to understand um why I'm I'm moving around a lot and what I'm trying to accomplish, which is to eventually have my own comic book store slash art gallery. That's why it's called a uh, comic book gallery, a different way of looking at art. And I really just want to make a living off my art. So I've started up a uh, Patreon where I, I started a program where I'm teaching little kids from ages first through third, how to draw. And I like what I'm doing and I'm having a good time, but I've been neglecting it. That's why I'm starting a second channel so I can spend more time on there. And while I still plan on keeping this schedule, you, you see me jumping around or who knows, I might even end up living out of my car. You'll understand what got me there. So all I can do is what I can do at the moment. So speaking of the moment, you kind of have to adapt to, um, I like this quote that they had, the Batman who laughs. It's um, to win, you need to adapt. And to adapt, you need to be able to laugh away all the restraints, everything holding you back. You see, a Batman who laughs is a Batman who always wins. And while there's, not really anything that I find funny that's been what I've been going through in the past eight years. I did find a lot of moments where I could, I could laugh with my father and we had great times. Sorry. Anyways, on with the show. So I picked up this book and I made a new, um, a new intro. And I actually cut it down to like, I think of like 45 seconds, which is going to be the new intro for all the comic book related videos. And I made a new intro for Magic the Gathering and also talked about the game and the same thing for RPGs. So when you see a video and you're not used to that genre, except for comic books, you're going to know what you're seeing. So my channel, and I'm redefining what my channel is and has always been, my channel is about collecting on a budget. So I like to save like $25 a week. And at the end of the month, I take that hundred and I buy whatever I can buy. And then whatever change I have left over, I put that aside and save that for next month. So like this Batman 9.8, the Batman who laughs, this one, I want to say I only spent like 45 maybe at tops, 50 bucks. And that's what's shipping. I mean, I'm not even sure if I if I bought that. I'm pretty good at, at sniping. 
So the reason why I'm doing the Batman who laughs right now, because this is a really interesting character. You know, I'm, I'm thinking back on how many characters who have hit and then stayed relevant for this long. I mean, you know, they're like Deadpool. When he came out, he was big. When Cable hit, he was big. And then he died out. But he's been able to stay. They have staying power. And while right now they're riding on the um, the coattails of the Batman who laughs, to me, this is not going to be a character that has, in, in a sense, staying power that every year they could do this character. And I wouldn't want them to because he's a unique character and he's from a different world. And that's the way he should be. You know, hopefully they banish him back and don't kill him. And then every now and then, you know, maybe once every three to four or five years, I wouldn't want to see him every other year. But have him come down and, you know, wreak havoc. And this was the first. I was starting to buy some of the Metal Run, and I haven't actually purchased all of the books, but that's one of my goals. And for right now, my priorities financially has switched to trying to raise up money to go to finish off some remaining classes I have to get an AA and take that and apply to a jet program and go overseas for about a year to Japan and work on my art and still from there work on my Patreon where I'm teaching kids how to draw. So that's my goal. But in the meanwhile, I have plenty of books to talk about because I've been buying a lot of books. And that's what my channel is about, buying it with a budget and staying within your budget. So I no longer have a budget to buy comic books. So... I probably won't be buying anything new unless I can scrape something up. But I have other, like I said, I currently have other priorities. But this was the first book that I bought that was CGC graded. And when I saw this cover, I had to have this cover. This is great artwork. Again, like I said, sorry about the lighting. If I turn on uh, the light overhead, which I'm going to do right now, you'll see a uh, big, even though it improves the the lighting just a little bit do you see that big spot there and that's kind of annoying for me so until i figure out another way to get some light a different light source and figure out a way to macgyver this um you're just gonna have to bear with me people so the next book that i got and I bought a few of the other um, the other metal books, or some of the covers I like, but I, I haven't collected the whole thing. And I think I'm just going to end up, just when I can, scraping up the money and just buying the graphic novels because they're out right now. So I this is another book I want to say I was able to get for like about $45, $50 with shipping. And this is the first appearance of The Batman Who Laughs. So I thought this was a cool pickup and nice for my collection. See, I I buy the like 99.9% .9 of the books that I get are books that I want out of my collection. So I don't, I'm, I choose what books I want to chase is what I'm trying to say. And I enjoy reading comics and the artwork, which brings it up to... The current series of Batman Who Laughs, which I think is so great. And I love this cover where it's like, miss me? It's like, yes, I do. I miss you. And I'm glad it's only going to be a little mini series, And um, they're going to banish him back or do something with him. But, you know, this is the character, like I said, that after he leaves this, that we won't see him again for a long time. Because this is not a character I want to see within the next six months or so. Because then I'm going to get bored with him. And I don't want to. I don't want to get bored with this character. I think this character is amazing. I love the artwork. I think the concept of dying. Was a needed boost. To have a different perspective. When you're talking about different worlds. Or parallel worlds. And this variant. I paid like uh, six dollars. 
And this is a, this book right here. I was able to pick up at Comic Madness. So if you're in Southern California, and I don't, I don't know the owner or anything. I have no affiliations. I get no discounts. But if I, if there's some place that I like, I will tell you about it and what I like about it. So they have a lot of variants, and you know he only charged two dollars more for this variant, which I don't have a problem getting because I thought it was great, and I'm enjoying the series. I think in this one, they, they at the end of the first one, it's the Grim Knight, and they go into more detail. And then there's this cover. So this was the uh, the last book that I bought. And I actually bought two of these because this was such a great cover. And it's really interesting to see where the storyline's going. I mean, the story, the artwork. I even like the uh, artwork inside. So that's how I want to wrap up. The Batman Who Laughs thinks of a great character, and this is how you introduce new characters by giving them a great story and um, their motivation and the artwork. I mean, just, you know, I tip my hat to these people because they just did an amazing job. So it's Monday. Hope you guys have a good week. Uh, I've been catching a few live videos today, but I had to stop because um, I had to make my own video. So I was watching John's comic with kids. Love that guy. And uh, he had his guest on, um, Thanatos Comics, another great channel. So if you get a chance, if you don't know who those guys are, you should. Because if you're watching my channel, the odds are you do. But if you don't, go check them out. Well, that'll do it, people. You guys take care. Catch you later.